Hey you guys, welcome back. It's Amy Gretchen. Thanks for joining me for another Project Life Process video. In this video, I'm working on week 14 from 2018, and I'm going to be using Studio Calico's Hey Girl Documenter Kit. So this kit came out in May, so it is still available, and I am a guest designer over there this month. So definitely check out their blog and you can see this project and the other projects that I did with this kit. Uh, it was a lot of fun to be able to play with it. I definitely always love Studio Calico products. So this week in particular, I did not take a lot of photos. I ended up going out of town uh, with my mom and my sister, and we just didn't take a lot of photos because we were just hanging out, chilling and talking, and I was trying to be present and not thinking about you know, photos that I wanted to take. So I just didn't take a lot of photos. So I thought it would be really great to blow up a large photo from where we went. So I'm gonna show you how I did that in Lightroom right now. All right, so I wanted to show you how I ended up printing this um, enlargement because I actually don't have at the moment really a, a large piece of photo paper, like a 13 by 19 is what my Epson printer can take but I don't have any of that uh, with me and I didn't wanna have to wait to take it somewhere else to get it printed. So uh, the largest I have right now is an eight and a half by 11. So I wanted to show you my workaround. So I am actually in Lightroom right now and this is the photo that I wanna use. And because it's a, like it's, the dimensions are a four by six, it can also be an eight by 12 as well. And that is how I want it to print. So. The easiest way I thought to do that is to print it as two six by eights. In doing so, I'll just be able to cut it right down the middle and it's gonna fit perfectly in my 12 of 12, which is awesome. So I'm gonna come over here to the print. So first of all, find the photo that you want to do this with and you don't have to worry about cropping it or anything like that because um, if it is a different dimension, then you'll be able to um, just deal with it in the print module but if you do want to print this as an 8 by 12 and it's a different dimension you are going to lose some of the image so you'll just have to crop off some of the outside because you want to make sure not to cut off any in the middle but I'll show you that in just a minute so come over here to the print module and if that's not showing up right here um, just toggle this little arrow here at the top and I have my print already set up for a six by eight because I have over here the templates that I use all the time. So I just wanna show you um, if you are working with a plain like eight and a half by 11, like this is right here, I'm gonna show you how to create this into a six by eight. The first thing I wanna do is just come to page setup. I wanna choose the printer that I wanna use. I'm gonna do portrait or landscape. For this one, I'm gonna do portrait. I've got my size. Um, I never worry about the source, but you could totally do that. You can come into properties and you can go through, set the paper and everything that you have there and then just click OK. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Now over here, you wanna go under the layout. So if layout is not showing, you just wanna toggle on this arrow and pull it up. And if you aren't seeing any of this column, there's an arrow here that you can just toggle and that will bring up this column. So on my layout, we are not gonna worry about the margins here because we're not gonna be do, uh, printing a full bleed. But what I wanna do is I wanna come down here to the cell size. And what it's telling me right now is the cell size is an eight by 8.07, but this actually looks like a horizontal picture. A landscape photo, it doesn't doesn't look like a, almost a square. So the reason that is um, is because I don't have zoom to fill checked. So I wanna come up here to image settings and I'm gonna click on the zoom to fill and you can see that now my photo is zooming to the entire dimensions of the eight by eight inches. So as I'm, um, you can see as I'm moving this down that it then becomes, you know, if I want, let's say I wanted to do a three by eight, now my photo's in a three by eight and I can move it around and get it in the exact spot I want. But I want this to be a six by eight. So I'm just gonna put six in there and you can see now I've got um, the six by eight photo which is going to print out perfect. Now, 
it's possible. I was trying to think if I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, but I think if I print this borderless, it'll make the photo a little bit bigger anyway. And so I think that's what I want to do. So because my photo is already set to the dimensions of a four by six, it works perfectly. So maybe disregard what I said before. If your photo is not set to a four by two, like a four by six dimension, I would go in, come back here to the develop module. I would click on my photo or excuse me, on the crop tool, click on where it says original, come down to where it has a four by six, so a two by three or four by six, and then I would crop it to this four by six. So that is definitely what I would do if, you know, let's say my photo looked like this. Oh, actually that's still, that's still the same dimensions. Um, but let's say this is what my photo looked like. My camera took the photo this way and I wanted it to be a four by six. I would just click on, you know, the crop tool, come down to where it says four by six. And, you know, then you could crop exactly how you wanted it. And then this photo would be, you know, where you could print it out as a eight by 12. All right. So... I'm gonna go back to my print module. So because I have it a six by eight, or excuse me, the dimensions are a 12 by eight, that means if I move this image all the way to the edge, then I'm gonna get six inches across and then move it all the way to this edge, it's gonna get six inches across and then it's going to print out exactly how I want it to print. So I am good to go. now. I am going to probably lose a little bit on the side, maybe an eighth of an inch on either side, which is totally fine. I can crop off the edge. It's not that big of a deal because there's no faces or anything like that. Just because I am going to print it a borderless, which means it's going to uh, make this photo just go a little bit bigger so that I can crop it without worrying about. Um, I don't, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want to crop it down and have it be smaller than six inches. So I'm going to make it a tad bigger by my settings saying borderless print. So that's how I'm gonna achieve that. So now that I have um, my photo in place exactly how I want it, I'm just gonna come down here to print job. So if it's not open up, just go ahead and open it up. And I'm just gonna print it right from here. Now, if you're not ready to print, you could come down here to JPEG file. You could copy or copy this um, or save this onto your computer as a JPEG file, and then you could print it later. This would also be a really good option if you wanted to then add some digital files or something here. So you would just do it once, save it, and then you'll move it over and then do it again and save it. So that's what you're going to want to do. But I'm going to, I want to print these. So I'm going to go ahead and hit print. And if I hit print, it's just going to automatically send it to the printer. If I hit printer, it's gonna bring up some of my printer settings, but because I already did that ahead of time, I don't need to worry about going back in. So I'm just gonna hit print and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that off camera because it's gonna be loud. So I'll just see you in just a sec. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful to see my process in Lightroom and how I was able to print out such a large photo with not using a large printer format. So hopefully you guys can do that as well. It's you could also just take it to a printer and have them print it to an eight by 12. Uh, so that is an option, but I just wanted to be able to print it at home. So that, like I said, that was my workaround. And you guys, I really love how this worked out. So most of the time I always have a ton of photos, so I never have the opportunity to do this, but this was a great reminder to me of how much I loved the look of this so much that I definitely wanted to do it. I want to do it a little bit more in my project life just because it's really fun and it's different and it will stand out. And I love that it really just showcases that I was out of town and that I was somewhere different. I was in Southern Utah for this. So I love being able to see those red rocks on the mountain in, uh, in the distance there. So just wanted to give you the option or let you realize that this is an option to go full size. You could even go full size 12 by 12 if you wanted to. You could even take up another six inches on the other page protector if you wanted to, 
or you could do an insert. So there's just a lot of different options if you guys wanted to take that, just wanted to let you aware of it so you guys will try something like this. Like I said, I really love the way it turned out and I definitely want to do it again. All right, you guys, so I am just looking through some of the supplies and some of the cards that I have left over. So in week 13, I actually used this kit as well. And I was really drawn to these little tags here or these little banners. I'm not sh quite sure what you'd call them, but I wanted to I wanted to use them. And I liked that they were this bright orange and I especially liked that they would work with kind of the colors that I had going on because it was a very specific color. Um, I'm glad that it ended up working with the photos that I had. You can see I have a lot of blues and I have a lot of yellow. So um, it just was very serendipitous. That was not something that I had intentionally thought of when I was printing out the photos, but it just happened to work out really great. So I decided to add a couple to this photo of my daughter and the sentiments on here are sentiments that you could use for any project. Uh, you know, I love the sentiments that are on there and it actually comes with two sheets. So uh, you could use, you could use this all day long. I mean, there's just a lot to be able to use here. And just keep in mind that they are thin. They're not thicker, you know, like the, the letter stickers, the those letter stickers are a little bit thicker, but those banners are, they're definitely thin. So just keep that in mind when you're using them uh, to be careful. So I thought it would also be fun to add these stickers. I liked that they were slim and that they were thin to be able to add them right onto my photo as a change there instead of having like a big thick letter where maybe you could only do like one word like yes or love or something like that, which is typically what I would do. I love that these are smaller and it's allowing me to then write a phrase. So in this one, I was kind of like looking and trying to decide what phrase I could use uh, with all of those letters. And I wanted something that would be three, three and three, or maybe four, four and four, something like that. I just kind of wanted that, that look there. And I went with you are rad because that is something that the kids and I joke a lot about that rad is like in my vocabulary and it's, I guess it uh, ages me quite a bit. So they laugh at me for that. So I thought that it'd be fun to add that to that photo of them. And then I'm just gonna add uh, one more. I think I do this one other time also. So I'm gonna have the letters in three places but I'm writing out the word grateful because I was definitely grateful for this time that I was able to spend with my mom and my sister. I don't think we've done that like ever. It's really been a long, long time if we've done it at all. So definitely grateful for that. And I'm thinking of adding like a little heart, something to just kind of make that pop because the white and that light blue were a little similar. I mean, you can definitely see it in the photos and um, in real life, it definitely does stand out, but I just wanted something to kind of help it pop. And like I said, I was I wanted to do one more place um, in the spread just to kind of help create that triangle, if you will, and balance things out. And I decided to do Hello Spring. So while we were gone, it was definitely spring where we were in Southern Utah. It's definitely a lot warmer and at home, it was still pretty cold and there were no blossoms out and no flowers. So it was really nice to be able to get a little bit of springtime because I feel like just at home, it is lagging behind big time. It's still like snowing and cold. And anyway, so that is the, why I added that sentiment there. And then I wanted to add a little bit more of these stickers. And so I'm just kind of looking through at the ones that I think would go with the spread, not necessarily the photo, but kind of just like what was going on that week. And so I think I added words like play, eat, things like that, that would kind of go with what we were doing. Like we were talking, we were eating, we were laughing. So it, it has sentiments like that on there. And I thought it would be good to maybe add them one more place. So I'm looking at adding it to the title card there. And that's something that I kind of go back and forth with a little bit. You'll see as I work through this. So the little uh, sticker that I was thinking about using says today, I believe and you'll be able to see that in the photo. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to decide 
if I want to stamp right onto the card or maybe if I want to uh, stamp it onto this piece of paper and kind of have them um, adhered on like you can see right now. And I actually really liked it like this. I was thinking that, you know, oftentimes I will stamp something, put it on there to see if I like it. And if I like it, then I will stamp it directly on the card. But what happened is I really liked the look of um, the look of that cardstock. And so it gave me an idea for some of my journaling and you'll see that coming up as well. So the other thing that maybe you didn't quite see me do is that today sticker, that little arrow, I put it on some plastic because I wasn't 100% sure if that's what I wanted to do. So I've got it on some plastic and I'm just kind of like sitting with it to figure out what I want to do next. And the next thing that I'm gonna go to is my journaling. So I wanted to kind of do a similar treatment that I did with the date there. So I decided on that card, that's that speech bubble and you can see that I'm measuring it out so I can figure out how wide I can go. I'm just gonna do a little bit of journaling about my daughter and it's very generic but um, very kind of um, love based, you know, like you're awesome, keep being you, never change kind of a thing. And I like to add those little love notes in my project life from time to time so, you know, it's not just about the facts, but it's about the feelings as well. And, and they can look through this book and realize, you know, how much they were loved and appreciated. So I will add those from time to time there. And I thought to create a similar look, I used the type writer from We Are Memory Keepers to be able to then kind of mimic the date. That's kind of what I was going for there. And then I'm just cutting it up. You can see that I cut all those phrases up and then I'm gonna cut the ends because I wanna make sure it all fits and I don't necessarily need it to feel 100% even, which is why I ended up just cutting everything with my scissors because it doesn't need to be perfect. Sometimes I want it to be and sometimes um, I'm good with either way. So it just kind of depends on you know, how I'm feeling in the moment. So you can see that I'm just continuing to work on it and cut off the edges. So I really loved the way this one worked out. I love these speech bubbles. It's one of my favorite things, um, like in a card, you know, I just love the speech bubble. I've, I've done this technique also with typing directly on it, but I liked the feel of, of having it, um, on on the cardstock like that and especially because it mimicked the dates so i was really happy about the way that turned out all right so i definitely decided that i did want to add the dates and for some reason i guess the dates looked a little sloppy or or something because remember i was just like testing it out to see if i liked it and so i decided to go ahead and stamp it one more time and cut those out and perhaps use those dates because the other ones looked sloppy. That's the only thing I can attribute to why I'm cutting these out again. I seem to do that from time to time for no apparent reason. So there you go. I am stamping it out, cleaning up because all the time I make a huge mess when I use that Versamark ink. But that Versamark ink is my favorite because it is the blackest ink that I own and I just really love it. But it does get everywhere. So that's really the only downsize that I have. So I am gonna trim these this date like pretty close. I don't want there to be a lot of white space. So you'll see that I put it down, I pick it up, I start trimming it again. The one thing that I didn't want is for those pieces of paper to be the exact same size. So I was kind of trying to vary it and cut off the edges so they weren't the exact same size. So that was one of the other things that I was doing as I was kind of trimming things off and thinking about it. So I also did a little bit of journaling there and I think that that journaling was all about, you know, kind of like little details about what we did. Like I said, it was really all mostly just kind of chatting and connecting. So my sister does not live near me. I do live by my mom, but my sister does not live near me. So it was fun that she was in town and we were able uh, to just spend that time and really connect. So that's basically what I wrote um, in that journaling there. And now you can see that I am working on this title card and I finally, you know, made up my mind and decided what I wanted to do. So I'm adhering everything down. And I tend to use, you can see that I've been using these tweezers a lot 
putting down the stickers and putting down the letter stickers just because it helps move, you know, keep my hands out of the way and I can actually see where I'm putting things. And then the last journaling I did is this list. So it's kind of hard to see the background of that list. It's got numbers one through five and then the background is like this light pinky. So it's hard to see, but it, it does definitely have a background to it. So I just wrote five highlights from the week there. Anyway, you guys, I am done with this spread. Like I said, I really love the way this turned out with that big photo and I definitely wanna do it again and I would definitely encourage you guys to do something similar. It's a great option if you didn't take a lot of photos that week, so just something to think about. Thank you guys so much for being here. Always appreciate you visiting my channel, but if this is your first time and you are new and you like what you saw, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get more updates. Thank you guys again and we will catch you in the next one. Bye.